As mentioned in the previous lesson, most machine learning models will require your data to be in numeric format. However, even if your raw data is all numeric, there is still a lot you can do to improve your features. Numeric features can be used to represent a huge array of different characteristics and measurements. Pretty much anything that can be quantitatively measured can be recorded as numeric data. For example, age, the price of an item, counts, and even spatial data such as coordinates. Depending on the use case, numeric features can be treated in several different ways. We will work through a few of the considerations and possible feature engineering steps to keep in mind when dealing with numeric data. One of the first questions you should ask when working with numeric features is whether the magnitude of the feature is its most important trait or just its direction. For example, if you had a data set of restaurant health and safety ratings containing the number of times a restaurant had major violations, you might care far more about whether the restaurant had any major violations at all, as you would rather not take any chances, over whether it was a repeat offender. Looking at the toy data set containing restaurant IDs and the number of times they had major violations, we can see that some restaurants have no major violations, but many have one or more. We will be recreating a new binary column representing whether or not a restaurant committed any violation. Here, we first create a new column, binary violation, and set it to zero. Then, we use the dot lock notation to find all rows where number of violations is greater than zero and set the binary violation column to one. As you can see here, all rows where number of violations is equal to zero are also zeros in binary violation. However, for all rows where number of violations is greater than zero, binary violation is one. An extension of this is perhaps you wish to group a numeric variable into more than two bins. This is often useful for variables such as age, wage brackets, etc where exact numbers are less relevant than the general magnitude of the value. Consider the same data set of restaurant health and safety ratings containing the number of times a restaurant has had major violations. This time, we will be creating three groups. Group one, for restaurants with no offenses. Group two, for restaurants with one or two offenses. And group three, for all restaurants with three or more offenses. Bins are created using the pandas cut function. You can define the intervals using the bins argument as shown here, which in this case is a list of four values. You can also pass a list of labels like so. Note, as we want to include zero in the first bin, we must set the leftmost edge to lower than that so all values between negative infinity and zero are labeled as one. All values equal to one or two are labeled as two, and all values greater than two are labeled as three. Now you know how to binarize and bin numeric columns. It's time for you to put this into practice.